All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So there's a new report that came out from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN regarding wide receiver, free agent wide receiver Tyler Boyd, formerly of the Cincinnati Bengals. Right, this is somebody who I feel like can make an instant impact on so many different teams out there. Right, working as that slot receiver, hurting teams over the middle of the field. He provides consistency. He provides durability. There's a lot of really likable uh, traits regarding Tyler Boyd. Now, Fowler goes on to report that there's, quote unquote, several teams that have remained interested in signing Tyler Boyd. However, Fowler mentions that this is a likely situation where Boyd will wait until after the draft to sign with a team that still has a receiver need. There has been a buzz about the Steelers being a landing spot for Boyd. Fowler reports that Pittsburgh hasn't made Boyd a quote unquote hard offer yet, but they do, uh, but they do have a need at receiver. So this could be something to watch after the draft. Mark Caboli of The Athletic previously mentioned that at least five other teams besides the Steelers have shown preliminary interest in signing Boyd, including the 49ers, Chargers, Chiefs, Dolphins, and Lions. Regarding Pittsburgh, Caboli thinks that ship has probably sailed between the Steelers and Boyd given the contract the veteran wideout is seeking. Okay, so first things first, I mean, it begs the question, where's the Jets on this list? Right, we're hearing it from Jets, uh, multiple Jets beat reporters, Tyler Boyd, Tyler Boyd, and then we're looking at this, Lions, Dolphins, Chiefs, Chargers, 49ers, potentially Pittsburgh. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> Like, like, where's New York here? I, I personally, I felt like Tyler Boyd was going to be an awesome fit for what the Jets wanted to uh, wanted to do offensively. I think he can be an awesome upgrade again over the middle of the field, replacing Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb had 39 receiving yards a year ago, five catches. And in regards to Xavier Gibson, Tyler Boyd is a veteran, right? He's been around winning football. He's seen the lows of the Bengals. He's seen the highs of the Bengals. Uh, this is somebody who, again, provides that durability, that, uh, you know, that, that consistency at the slot receiver position. You know, if you really want him to, he can kick outside. You can move Tyler Boyd around. I feel like there's so many things to like with Tyler that... He would just be an awesome fit for a win now team like the Jets. And of course, you know, on this list, Miami, literally every team here, San Fran, LA, KC, Miami, and Detroit. I am a Tyler Boyd fan. I've really loved him since uh, back in college. But I, again, I do feel like when you're talking about a win now football team, he would make a really, really uh, good impact. I really do believe that. Now, I do feel like the elephant in the room here is the last line in this whole report. Uh, where he talks about Tyler Boyd and the potential contract that he's seeking. Now, that's something that I feel like a lot of veterans are kind of dealing with at this point in time. A lot of the veteran free agents, right? Quandre Diggs potentially wants a lot of money. Uh, Justin Simmons potentially wants a lot of money. And rightfully so. I mean, these guys are good football players. They should not be accepting a minimum deal, a one-year, two, one-year, $3 million contract. Um, now it happens, I feel like every year that we do see a couple veterans slip through the cracks and they end up signing, you know, cheap contracts, cheap one year deals with a new team. And of course they go out there and look really, really good and they outperform their contract and then they cash in a year later. So will that happen here with Tyler Boyd? I don't know. I feel like he will probably be getting a little bit less than what he's asking for, but then you could push back and say, all right, well, if there's five to six teams here. I personally wouldn't rule out the Jets. I think we, we got to add Buffalo to the mix. You know, I, I think, you know, if you're looking at Chicago, they're doing everything they possibly can to give Caleb Williams enough help. If they go Caleb at one and a defensive end at nine, maybe they add Tyler Boyd as that, you know, as a third option, right? They brought in Keenan Allen. They already have DJ Moore. They paid uh, Gerald Everett at tight end. Tyler Boyd would be an awesome fit over the middle of the field for Caleb. So I, again, I think there's a lot of teams here that make a ton of sense for Tyler. So if the Jets, you know, end up walking away from the draft, you know, a week, week or two weeks, three, four weeks go by and news comes out that the Jets signed Tyler Boyd, I will be freaking ecstatic. And this is, you know, independent of whoever the Jets draft in the first round. If they end up with, you know, whoever it is, Romo Dunze, Brian Thomas, Brock Bowers, an offensive lineman, I'm going to be pumped up either way because, again, I feel like uh, Tyler Boyd really provides that positive impact to a football team. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. It's such an interesting, interesting situation, in my opinion, because, again, I, I just don't envision Tyler Boyd snagging like 15 to 20 catches, 200 
250 receiving yards and him being like a non-factor. Like I look at Tyler Boyd as being one of the better, being an above average slot receiver in football. So um, yeah, again, let me know your thoughts down below. Where do you think Tyler Boyd will end up? Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets. Thank you.